Uh, welcome uh, to the Sphere Day, uh, which discusses a derivative of one of the most popular indicators out there, the Bollinger Band. And we're basically going to be looking at the double Bollinger Band. And someone was asking my opinion of it, I'm just going to compare the two here. First of all, let's define what Bollinger Bands are. John Bollinger um, invented the Bollinger Bands, they're one of the most popular technical indicators out there. And they're yeah, basically a volatility indicator. And they show you how far prices have moved from a mean average. The, the bands are basically uh, a center band, which is a 20-day moving average, which yeah, smooths out those short-term fluctuations in price. And then two outer bands set at a standard deviation of two from the average. And it basically gives you a snapshot of how volatile the market is. And you know, what Bollinger Bands are extremely useful for, in my view, is you know, if prices you know, get up to the outer band or exceed it, you know, that's sometimes a great opportunity to take profit on an existing trend or even enter a contrary trade. And the mid band is basically a great price, a place sorry, to, to buy back to in a bull trend or sell back to in a bear trend. And what you find you know, in any financial market is prices you know, spike too far through greed and fear. And then in, in strong trends, you know, prices will come back to the mean, gives you a chance to get in with a great risk reward. And you know, if that band breaks, you know, that trend could be in jeopardy and you look for it to go to the outer band. So I, I find it a very useful tool in terms of getting into trends and, and taking profit. So what is the double Bollinger Band? The double Bollinger Band puts in another standard deviation of one. So effectively you've got two bands either side uh, of the mid band. And the logic is that when it's between you know, the deviation of one and two, the trend should continue. And, and basically you should trade within this band. Um, is it useful? Um, the, the other you know, point made about the, the double Bollinger Band is you shouldn't do anything when it's outside of the two bands, so when it's in the mid, mid, mid area effectively. Um, I do not think that it's uh, a great idea, the, the double Bollinger Band at all. I can't see any logic of having two deviations. Um, you know, would you want to buy when it's the bottom of the one deviation? Uh, you know, I just don't think that would be the best place to to enter an existing trend. The whole idea of Bollinger Bands is its standard deviation to a mean price. That is the centre moving average. And you know, the logic of doing nothing when it's coming into the centre moving average, I think, you know, just doesn't add up at all. It's, it's basically altering an indicator and, and making it serve a different function. Uh, you know, to what was originally intended. I think the original Bollinger Band you know, is a great idea. Yeah, it just basically shows you the deviation from the mean price. That was what it was intended for. And the idea of this zonal trading within the bands, I just, you know, I just can't see any logic of that at all. Uh, you wouldn't want to just, you know, in my view, trade within those upper two bands or enter the one deviation don't see the point of it whatsoever. It's altering what the Bollinger Band originally did. And yeah, I just don't find it any use at all, basically. Um, so if you're gonna use Bollinger Bands, uh, I would say stick very firmly with the original Bollinger Band. And you know, the double Bollinger Band is just you know, complicating something and negating uh, you know, the original purpose of the indicator. And you get a lot of indicators now coming out. Um, the fact is, most of them will not give you an edge in your trading, so ignore them. So I would say stick with the original Bollinger Band. Thank you for watching me as per usual. Take care. Have a good day.